Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, you read the title. You read the title, guys. You read the title. Why? Why was Terrell Owens selected as the cover boy of the Hall of Fame edition of Madden NFL 17? You ever ask yourself that question? I was asking why they picked Terrell Owens, you know? And I'm just saying, guys, why did they pick Terrell Owens? I mean, there's a lot of other guys that's in the Hall of Fame, but I came up with a, a, a few reasons why. Was it because he was just selected for the 2018 Hall of in the Hall 2018 Hall of Fame class? Maybe that's it. Was it because Terrell Owens was snubbed the last two years for the Hall of Fame? Maybe that's it. Those are legit reasons why they chose Terrell Owens to be the cover boy for the Hall of Fame edition of Madden NFL 19. Or was he selected for the Hall of Fame edition? Uh, to poke fun at 2K, 2K5. That came across my mind. Did they choose Terrell Owens because of NFL 2K5? You know Terrell Owens was on the cover of NFL 2K5, right? So maybe EA is poking back at NFL 2K. Maybe they have confidence, right? Um... Because remember now, Ronnie 2K, when he when NBA 2K18 came out and when Madden 18 came out, he kind of made a little sly remark about franchise mode. Okay? He kind of said Madden just ain't there yet and how great his franchise mode is. I don't I can't remember exactly word for word verbatim what he said, but he was hinting to Madden that your, your franchise modes ain't up to par, buddy. Okay, so that was a little bit of fighting words for EA to me. That was fighting words what, what Ronnie, Ronnie 2K did. That's what you call competition, man. When he made that crack about Madden 18 talking about their franchise mode, comparing CFM to NBA 2K's franchise mode. So is EA trying to get back at 2K? That's the question. Is EA trying to get back? At 2K, guys, we're talking about competition right now. By putting Terrell Owens on the cover, especially when this is supposed to be a big year concerning franchise mode. Is that what EA doing? Are they confident in it? Because they, they know this is supposed to be a big year for franchise mode. And Ronnie 2K was talking about our franchise mode, right? So is EA trying to get back at 2K by putting Terrell Owens on the cover? Okay, I'm not leading to nothing. It just came across my mind. Okay, just like I said, maybe they select him because he just got selected to the Hall of Fame. Because he got snubbed two years in a row for the Hall of Fame. Now he made it. That's a legit reason, guys. Okay, another thing that indicates that EA is competing with 2K it's because semi-fall critic, guys, sim football critic, the EA Sports Game Changer, right? He just did a video where he talks about why did, why is NFL, I mean, Madden NFL 19 coming out so early? I kind of mentioned that in one of my videos, but sim broke it down why he thought Madden, it was coming out early. Okay, he talked about competition. I don't want to talk about his video, but I got his link down below. Go check his video out, guys. He talked about why he thinks Madden came out early and he referenced competition. So go check Semi Fall Critics video, guys. If you haven't seen it, I got the link down below. Go check it out. It was a great video. Okay, now that could be another reason what Sim was talking about why they put Terrell Owens on the cover okay now is release and he talked about you know because they released it early now that they uh, put his link down in the description now who is gonna who they gonna reveal 
for the standard edition of Madden. Whoever that is, it's gonna it's gonna tell more of the story. More of the story. And it might not relate to 2K, but normally when Madden puts somebody on a cover on an odd season, when they it's it's relating to something in the game. Um so we're gonna find out. Is it gonna completely tell a story about who's gonna be on the standard edition? Now, a lot of people are saying that Madden football still has not to this day beat NFL 2K5 as a game, right? I've heard many people say that, that Madden still to this day has not beat NFL 2K5 as a game. And EA put Terrell Owens on the cover because they think this will be the year that people will say that Madden 19 is finally better than NFL 2K5. Guy, am I starting something, guys? Am I starting a fight? Am I am I am I am I, am I putting stick in the bush? If I putting a stick in the bush and see if something jump out, is that what EA doing to 2K5? 2K? They sticking that, that 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 stick in the bush, see if something come out, trying to start some trouble. Guys, is this competition we might be talking about? Is EA bold enough to go back and attack 2K? <laughs> I'm loving it, guys. I'm loving it. Maybe EA has the confidence to say, we finally gonna close everybody. We're gonna finally close the door on NFL 2K5. Because of all the new features coming out in Madden NFL 19. Okay, guys. Now, on these features that coming out in Madden 19, guys, they got to work. It sounds good, looks good, feels good. It's exciting to read. But, guys, it's got to work. These features have got to match what marketing is printing. Marketing is doing an awesome job, just like I said in my, in my last video. Marketing is doing an awesome job, but can they really deliver on these new features? And that's why EA may be confident in it, put Terrell Owens on the cover. They bringing the game out early. Don't forget, go check out Sims' uh, video talking about why the game came out early. Reference to competition. All right, so now, we're talking about the features of Madden 19. Game changing control. That's what they're saying, guys. Madden 19 will have game changing control. Better than we've ever had before. Better than us, the community, the players, the consumer, the community. We're going to have more game changing that's saying game changing control better than ever better than we have it before that's a big statement guys that's a huge huge statement by EA now are they just talking a good game because they know Madden 18 was horrible I wouldn't say it was horrible Madden, Madden 18 was good guys but it had a lot of issues right transferring the frostbite of course the game had a lot of issues so are they talking this good game, talking nice, making this game, they, they hyping this game up, guys, because of what happened to Madden 18? Or are they telling us the real deal? Guys, there's so many emotions going on right now. I know it is in the community, and I know people want to see gameplay, right? Just like last year, we wanted to see gameplay, gameplay, gameplay y'all talking about everything else besides gameplay that's what people said last year man we y'all talking about everything EA where's the gameplay <laughs> then when the gameplay came out guys everybody was kind of disappointed saying it was the same thing as Madden 17 but guys will this be the year the second year on frostbite will this be the year and guys I'm not trying to hype you up trust me I'm just I'm just going over what's going on right now and probably today sometimes they're gonna bring out something on Mutt. Or sometime this week, they're gonna talk about Mutt. I don't know if it's gonna be a vlog, I don't know if it's gonna be a trailer, I don't know if it's gonna be what. But they're gonna talk about Mutt, right? They're gonna be selling Mutt, of course. Mutt is leading the way, right? We all know that, okay? 
Now let's talk about these game changing features, right? We talk about game changing control, better than we've ever had it before. Real player motion technology. Is that why they put Terrell Owens on the cover trying to reference the 2K5 so we can finally forget 2K5? And I believe if we get to the point where people can say, man, I'm done with 2K5, Madden has finally beat 2K5, is that day going to come? Let's hope it's this year, guys. It's going to come, but let's hope it's this year. And, you know, it tells you how great Madden NFL 2K5 was, guys. The game still had issues. The game still had problems. People never want to admit that, but it was a good game considering back in 2005. That game was before its time, guys. And can you imagine what they would have done from back then to right now? It would have pushed Madden harder. I mean, we, 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 we would have been winning, guys. The consumer, the gamer, we would have been winning because both companies would have been scratch, scratching and clawing. And we know NFL 2K, 2K would have had a great football game if they would have continued to grow off 2K5, guys. We know that. Okay, now, okay, now, we talked about real motion tech, real motion player technology. How about a new animation system? <laughs> That's what EA talking about. A new animation system that unlocks next level responsiveness. Man, are they, are they, are they selling us, are they overhyping this game, guys? Are they overhyping this game or is this the year we get what we want? That, guys, that's the question. That is the question. And I know for me, I'm not going to answer that question. I, the only way I can get the answer to that question is me playing the game. Right out of the box. Right in my PS4. The final product. Not an EA play. Not for what I'm reading. No, I don't care about no trailer, how good the trailer looks. I'm not going to be able to answer that question. If this is really the year we get what we want, or is it a bunch of hype? We will eventually get that answer answered when we get our hands on the game. That's what I'm saying on my decision, okay? They talking about a new animation system that unlocks next level responsiveness and play a personality come on guys come on y'all don't that sound good wouldn't we like to have that wouldn't we like to have that for real wouldn't we like to have that new feature unlocks next level responsiveness we we didn't we we always complain about responsiveness about the animations taking over they're talking about a new animation system with next level responsiveness and player personality. Are we gonna get the real player personalities? I'll even, man, we don't even need 100%. I'll take 50% of the players, and man, we can grow from there. Guys, if they can hit on these guys, I think we'll get what we want, but man, they, are they, again, the question is, are they hyping this game up? Because of, the, the, the failure, really, of Madden 18? Or are we really going to get what we want, guys? It's got to be hype, or are we going to get what we want? <laughs> All right, guys. And we ain't done yet. Now they're talking about players will experience the community, the player, the consumer. We're talking about us. will experience more precision as we run the football. As we cut, <laughs> as we run and cut, more precision in the run game. They saying we will experience that. More experience, more precision in the run game. In the catching and doing new player animations. Man. What if they do the player animations like a lot of teams did, you know, like they, they would do like bowling ball or baseball simulations or celebrating all that kind of stuff. What is that stuff? What if that stuff was in Madden 19? Are they hyping this game up, guys? 
Are they hyping Madden up? Because that's what marketing does. That's what marketing job is, is to hype this baby, is to create sales, right? But will the devs give us what we want, guys? That's the question. Is it hype or will we finally, for this year, get what we want? And that's why they put Terrell Owens on the cover to mock NFL 2K5. And again, to add to that, go and look at Sim F Football Critics video. His link is down below. It would even add, give you more the reason of competition why EA put this game out sooner. In early August. <laughs> Guys, the game is coming out almost, almost a month ahead of schedule uh, than, than normal. Almost a month ahead of schedule than normal. Okay, now they're talking about also giving us more authentic ways to build an NFL roster. That's reference to CFM. This is, this is stuff I be thinking about, guys. You know how many times I read this stuff? Saying, man, at this height, are we really going to get what we want? And I opened the video saying, huh, that's why maybe they put Terrell Owens on the cover. Because they have confidence, finally, people are going to stop talking about NFL 2K5. Is this the year, guys? Is this the year? People are gonna put NFL 2K5 on the shelf. Is this the year, guys? They're gonna stop talking about NFL 2K5. I don't know. I will know when I get that baby in my PS4. We don't know, guys. We don't know. All, all we all we can do is hope. And I know a lot of people they don't lost all their hope for mad. Now I know that. I know that. Hey, and it's it's real. It's a real deal. You know, a lot of people lost their hope, man. Okay, now here we go. The ability to train and develop players. <laughs> We're gonna have to, the ability to train and develop players. Come on, guys. Come on. This is a big year for Madden. If this stuff works, man, y'all can't say it's copy and paste. Y'all can't say it's copy and paste because obviously if we get this stuff they're talking about, come on, guys, we're going to have an awesome game. Madden is going to break records. Y'all think 2K broke records? Y'all think NBA 2K broke records? Madden's going to break records. And people get their hands on this game, and, they, and this game produces, guys. This game produces. Okay, now, the new senior producer, Carlos Guerrero Sr., said that we work directly with community members on Madden NFL 19. Did y'all hear him say that? Did y'all watch that video I told y'all to go watch? He said, we work directly with, with community members on Madden NFL 19 to make a deeper more immersive football game that gives players what they want. Guys, are we finally gonna get what we want? That's coming out of the new senior producer's mouth. Is he automatically coming in, coming in the door, hyping the game? Trying to get a raise? Trying to get his sales up? Is he blowing smoke too? Or is he finally gonna give us what we want, guys? And we know Rex obviously works on this game, too. We know Rex Dixon works on this game. But then again, man, they say the new producer has been, up, been in EA for nine months. How do we know he didn't have his finger on the button, too? While Rex was already on his way out. We don't know, guys. We don't know. But coming directly out of the new producer, senior producer, Carlos Guerrero Sr. said that we work directly with community members on Madden NFL 19 to make a deeper, more immersed football game that gives players what they want. <laughs> more choice and more control. Now, not to mention custom draft classes. Guys, this is a lot. It's almost overwhelming. It's almost like they hyping this game up, man. But they, 
I can tell you what, they do, they do have my hope up. I do have my hope up, guys. And I think a lot of people have their hopes up. But I wouldn't say you, you don't bet on this stuff, man. I'm not betting on this stuff, guys. This is a lot. I'm not betting on it. Maybe it's a lot of stuff they, they, they wanted to do in Madden 18. Maybe they couldn't fit it in, and it was already scheduled for Madden 19. Maybe this stuff was trying to get into Madden 18, and they couldn't do it. So maybe they are really set for Madden 19. You know, trying to come, go over to Frostbite. Maybe that's why Rex didn't want to do that, uh, you know, the other thing that the Supes wanted to do. What was it? Uh, the, you know, the movie type thing. I can't even think right now. Anyway, maybe Rex didn't want them to spend all that time on that. Maybe he wanted to put more stuff in Madden 18 and it didn't come through. They took some of the devs, the, the NBA Live. So maybe they just didn't have the manpower to put all this stuff in Madden 18. Maybe some of it was going to be in Madden 18, but they put bringing it in Madden 19, guys. Custom draft classes. Now, also, also, also positional archetypes archetypes for different positions guys archetypes for different positions could this be and they talking about new progression system based on a person's archetype the player's archetype a new progression system based on the player's archetype that's going back to CFM that's going back to CFM guys and they still haven't told us everything about the game yet. <laughs> Guys, could this be the year? Could this be the year? And the question is, is this a bunch of hype? Or this is the game that we're going to get? Just like that senior director said, Carlos Guerrero, we're going to give the players what they want. Those are the questions, guys. But... In my mind, I'm not jumping ahead like I did on Madden 18. I'm not, even when I go to EA Play, I'm not gonna get excited. I might get a little bit more hope based on what I see. But again, my final decision is when I plug that baby into the PS4 and I'm rocking and rolling, that's when I'll make my determination. That's when I do maybe a, a, a video giving you my opinion of Madden 19. All right, guys. I hope the video wasn't too long, but you know what, guys? It's a lot going on right now. Uh, they're gonna. We already got all the dates. They're gonna bring. They're gonna be talking about uh, 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 gameplay. They're gonna be talking about graphics. They're gonna be talking about mud. We know all the stuff they're gonna be talking about. CL film, right? Eventually, they're gonna bust out a trailer. Maybe a teaser trailer. Maybe a full trailer. But uh, yeah, guys, that was my question. Why did they put Terrell Owens on the cover? Is it to get on NFL 2K is it to get up on is, not NFL 2K but 2K is it to pick at 2K referencing to 2K5 also referenced to what Ronnie was talking about with CL film took a took a took a, a cheap shot at CL film for Madden guys I'm gonna end the video y'all go know what the question is is this a bunch of hype or are we finally going to get what we want? I don't think we're never going to be able to answer that question until we get our hands on the game. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, stay plugged in. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss nothing, guys. I think this is going to be the biggest anticipation for the next Madden than never before. You know, I think last year was a big anticipation year going to Frostbite. And everybody wanted to see what the Frostbite engine going to do. But the Frost, man, I, let me end this video, guys, because I could just I could just keep going, going, and going. All right, guys, we know what the question is. Let's get to it. Let's hope we see some stuff, man. Let's hope this is the year that we get what we want. Hopefully, I will see everybody, everybody on my next video. Thanks for watching.